everyone, this is Nova here from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. I'm coming at you with a quick video about Bactrim and potassium levels. There was a new study that came out um, about how Bactrim can affect your potassium levels. So just a little bit of back, um, background. <laughs> Bactrim is an antibiotic. It's used quite often because it treats a plethora of bacterial infections. It's effective and quite inexpensive because because it comes in a generic that's been around forever. And potassium levels. Potassium is an electrolyte that's found in your body naturally. Um, it usually it's filtered through your kidney, so your kidney kind of decides like how much potassium to keep it within a normal range, and it gets rid of all the extra potassium. So the way, um, oh, if you get too high of a potassium level, it's called hyperkalemia, and the danger in that is that it can cause some um, issues like nausea, muscle tremor, tremors, muscle weakness, but ultimately if it spikes up too high, it can actually stop your heart from working, which would cause death. So that's your issue with potassium. There's a lot of electrolytes in the body, sodium, um, chloride, acetate, all this stuff. And in general, you know, we can, we can change a little bit on the, the levels of our electrolytes. But potassium, we really do monitor because if it spikes too high, it can kill you. Um, if it spikes too low, too, that's an issue, too. But anyway, um, so Bactrim is made up of two medications in it. One of them is called trimethoprim. And what that does is when you're taking it, typically the average person will not have a problem with this at all. People take Bactrim, no issue. Um, but some people, the Bactrim, the trimethoprim, interacts with the kidneys so the kidneys don't get, enough, get rid of enough potassium. And that can, can increase your potassium level slightly while you're on Bactrim. Now the main issue comes with people who already have issues, some issues with their kidneys. So um, if you have like kidney failure or um, kidney dysfunction or you're over 65 years old so it's not working, your kidneys aren't working as well as when you're like 15, or if you're on an ACE inhibitor like lisinopril, very popular, or an ARB for your blood pressure, then that can also, because those in, um, also interact with your kidneys and keep your potassium level a little bit higher than typical. So if you are on an ARB, you're over 65, you're on an ACE inhibitor, or you have any kind of kidney dysfunction, you really want to be careful with taking Bactrim because it can increase your potassium level. Um, Typically, this will happen within five days of taking Bactrim, so you can talk to your doctor about having your potassium checked on day four. Um, also, the other option is that you can change to something like doxycycline or clindamycin. It works quite similar to Bactrim, but um, doesn't interfere with the potassium levels as high. Uh, and you don't want to overreact. It's, it's, it's not, you know, like a huge deal for most people, but it can occur. Also, if you're on another risk factors, if you're on really high doses, like if you're being treated for MRSA, MRSA, or um, pneumocystis uh, pneumonia, that can cause, you need really high levels of Bactrim, so that can increase your potassium level. So you just want to be aware of this. Next time your doctor says Bactrim, um, ask him or your pharmacist um, if they know any um, drugs that will interact and increase your potassium level, or if you just want your doctor to check your potassium level. Um, I hope if this helps. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or leave a comment, anything like that. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.